Jessica and welcome to the Retro Farmhouse. Today we're going to get into doing two different variations of a pottery barn in styled 4th of July galvanized tray. Hope you guys enjoy. Originally I saw this tray on the Pottery Barn website for $32. For our first variation, I got this picture at Hobby Lobby for $5 on their clearance sale. I took the backing piece off so that I could lay it flat on a table to use as a tray. Next I'm going to use this Martha Stewart gray paint to paint the outside and inside of the tray ledges. this paint. I just use a sponge brush that I got from the Dollar Tree. And don't worry about if you get the top of the inside painted, that's going to be painted over here in a little bit. I applied two coats to this piece and let it dry in between each coat. For the second variation of this project, I used a brownie pan that I got from the Dollar Tree. For this one, I covered it in Timeless Gray from the Apple Barrel brand. You can purchase these at Walmart for 50 cents. On the larger tray, I'm covering it with a sponge that I got from Joann's. You can also just use a makeup sponge to apply this as well. But I took some of my metallic gray paint from Martha Stewart and I'm just dabbing it all over the inside and outside. You want to have a little bit of the dark gray show through. For the smaller tray, I added an extra step to apply the darker gray first with my sponge applicator. This will give the tray a little bit more dimension and a galvanized look. I then lastly applied my metallic paint to the top of the gray paint. precise brush to get the edges more clean. You can get a pack of these brushes in different dimensions from Walmart or any other craft store like Joann's or AC Moore. star section. Mm -hmm. 
I then take my painter's tape to section off this area. purchased at Hobby Lobby. They were originally $1.99, but they're on sale for 50% off. Next, I'm taking my Folk Art Craft Paint in True Blue and applying it all over the sectioned off square. I ended up applying two coats to this and the other piece. After this, I take my painter's tape and evenly apply it down the piece to create my stripes. alternating stripes. cheaper version, the Dollar Tree one was made with just Dollar Tree supplies and probably cost only $3. If you liked this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. And also hit the notification button so that you know when I'm uploading a new video. Please comment in the bottom which one you think is your favorite. And I'll see you next time. 